Seal coats on Texas roads are unique. In addition to using pre-coated aggregates, most binders are applied to the roadway hot. The process improves adhesion between the aggregate and binder and eliminates dust. But questions have remained about how much to pre-coat and what types of tests are best to determine ideal coverage. Working with the Texas Department of Transportation, researchers at the University of Texas Center for Transportation Research evaluated the overall effectiveness of pre-coating aggregates and developed an image analysis and testing procedure to obtain an ideal coverage rate. We've got 25 districts in TxDOT and everybody does something different. So our spec doesn't really say that it, we have to have it exactly this certain way. That's why this was developed, so that everybody would be pre-coding with the same target value rather than just, this is the way we do it over here and this is the way we do it over here. Item 301, chip seal aggregate, says that the aggregate, if it's pre-coded, should be pre-coded to the satisfaction of the engineer. And the question is, is well, what does that really mean in terms of how much pre-coding is satisfactory to produce good results in a chip seal? So there is, there is an optimal amount of coding that is needed, and so far that has been very subjective and experience-based. But the purpose of the study was to, was to systematically study this and find out for, for different kinds of aggregates what that window is or how much pre-coding is optimal. They kind of thought outside the box and came up with testing to figure out how they could do performance testing. They did this sweep test to see how well it was bonding. What we determined is that the optimum amount of pre-coating of asphalt on chip seal aggregate is approximately 50%. And we have developed a image analysis process to look at that. So you can determine whether you have 50 to about 85% a coverage of the surface with asphalt. That seems to be the optimum amount of surface covered to give you the best bang for the buck in terms of retention of aggregate in a chip seal project. The next steps would be to provide the engineers in the field with uh, some kind of a quick and easy tool by which they can assess that the aggregates are pre-coded to the extent that they should be pre-coded. Uh, and uh, more education, making sure that they understand the findings from the study and implement it uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. For us to have the knowledge of what the ideal uh, rate of application for the pre-coat would be, it's better for everybody. It's better for the contractors when they bid it, they know exactly what percentage that they need to have. Um, and then also it makes a more durable seal coat for TxDOT because it's gonna last longer. We're not gonna lose that material. So it's just a win-win for everybody. For more information and to find the publications for this project, please visit the Tech.Research Library at the link shown below.